Welcome back inside of the Suburban Forward 7 Sports Game. Over to the bar set where we have to introduce, for the first time on our set, the new head coach of the Detroit Titans, Titans excuse me, Bakari Alexander. Coach, how's it going? How's it been? How's it been? Coming on to the job, you know, your assistant at Michigan. Now you've got your own gig over there at Detroit. What's it been like the first couple of weeks? You know, it's been good. You know, week one um, went by Friday. Yesterday we are, we're, we're in finals, and one of the things after the press conference was over, I re recognized quickly is that the honeymoon was over. So it's like, let's meet with the team. <laughs> let's get them organized for finals. Let's talk about what our standards are. First, you know, be on time when time is involved and all that good stuff. But uh, it's been good. It's been really good. A lot of traffic coming through the office, coming through campus, a lot of buzz and excitement, you know, welcoming me back home. What's the first thing that you have to do when you take over a program? I think you got to set a tone. Um, we met with the team at 8.15 a.m. prior to the presser. And one of the things I introduced to those guys was our core values. We talked about unity, perseverance, appreciation, integrity, diligence, what that means. We talked about our identity piece, you know, playing hard, working smart, being tough, you know, staying together, finishing strong, all these different things that are the ingredients of our culture. And so you have to set a tone early because like all the school teachers out there that know it best, you can't start soft and try to get tough. Right. You got to start tough and then maybe loosen the reins. Maybe. Do, do your players believe that you can win in, in the horizon? I mean, it was a different conference, but when you were there, you played in the NCAA tournament, you know what it's like. Does that experience go, go to them? Do they realize that they can win? Well, su success, you know, Stoney does leave footprints, and I think you have to look back at the ingredients that led to that. You know, the culture that, you know, Perry Watson had, Ray McCallum, his 2012 team that went to the NCAA tournament, you know, even years before that, you talk about Thunder and Lightning and all those guys yeah. from the Vitell era. All of those teams shared one common thread. They were really good defensively. They had really good talent in various spots. But most importantly, they were connected. I think this group feels a, the same sense of, um, you know, belonging. I, see, I sense that internally there's a good connection amongst players. Now they just need that roadmap, you know, and that accountability to take them to the next step. I mean, with these, you know, smaller schools in the NCAA tournament having success, I mean, are there any that you point to as, you know, uh, an example for your players? Yeah, certainly. I mean, you look at the programs that have built, you know, success from the ground level up. You can go out east of VCU. Here's a program that started at a certain point in time. They've built it up, and now, you know, they're who they are. You look at, you know, no further than the old, you know, Horizon League MCC team like Butler, who built it from the ground level up, you know, and got it to this point. We don't even have to go far. Right within our own league, Valparaiso has been a class of our league the last five years. Built it from the ground. Middle Tennessee, we saw, yeah, you know, absolutely. unfortunately, remind us. <laughs> you know, they, they, they came in, and, but they had a veteran group. So at the, at the mid-major level, you get a lot of teams that, and coaches that get a chance to coach four-year guys that may go up against teams that are much younger at the Power Five level. Do you have an Oakland uh, countdown clock yet? <laughs> no, I, I do not, because you, you have to beat drills before you beat opponents. We have to learn how to compete. The likelihood of people watching us lose at Callahan Hall is my first goal. And then, you know, again, in order for it to be a rivalry, and I said this before, you have to win games. When yeah. do you uh, get to go up against Coach Beeline? When's you know what? I tell you what, uh, they're building that new arena downtown yeah. called Little Caesars. I've heard about that. And I just yes. hope they give us a slice of that big pie out that budget up here in Ann Arbor. <laughs> Well, I got to bring this up because I thought it was an awesome, awesome tribute you did to our good friend, Titan Reggie. Reggie Hall, who was a longtime producer here. You took this picture. The sign that was in his stead after he passed this year is now firmly, safely in your office. We want to thank you from the bottom of our hearts for you doing that. But, but when you think back of Titan Reggie, what are your memories? Titan Reggie is a guy that is a time-tested and true Titan, you know, played on our baseball teams in the past. I called him the original Jackie Robinson <laughs> of the Titans because there wasn't a whole lot of fellas, you know, back there, you know, playing for Bob Miller. But uh, Reggie was one of them. He didn't miss a game, rode her home. I mean, he was one of those guys that I don't care what the sport was. Every student athlete knew Titan Reggie. Reggie. But I had to remind people, Titan Reggie wasn't our mascot. He was an actual <laughs> fan. And so I know he, the big fella is uh, smiling down on us from up above, and uh, we appreciate, you know, his spirit because we feel it every day. Coach? Thank you so much. The best of luck to you, and I'm sure we'll have you back here multiple times throughout the next year if you'll come back and see us. That would be awesome, man. Remember right. the Titans. Remember the Titans. All right, coming up next, get your tweets in right now. Use the hashtag 7 Tape. Ask the analyst is next. Talking Lions draft. Any questions for these two, get them in now. That's coming up next on the Suburban Ford 7 Tape. Stay with us.